Hey, Seattle. Take a hike. Portland's coming in. This is, ladies and gentlemen, the expansion franchise mode with the Portland Pirates. As you see here, we will draft number five in the entry draft. But first of all, we have to go to the expansion draft. So yes, the Portland Pirates used to be a AHL f affiliate for a couple of the NHL teams. I'm thinking of Buffalo, the Coyotes, and um, more recently the Florida Panthers that got moved to Springfield to become the Thunderbirds, right? So here I'm going to bring some former... Um, Portland Pirates, as you see here in Montreal. I was trying to look for Corey Perry, but he wasn't protected. Uh, he was protected, I should say, sorry. So, we're trying to see here in Detroit. Uh, Bobby Ryan is going to be the player we pick in Detroit. Probably going to be our captain, we'll see. But Bobby Ryan used to be a Portland Pirate. Here in, we got Mackenzie Wegar in the Panthers so we're gonna try to get a couple of former uh, Portland Pirates players here just to get our stuff going here in a we have Nathan Gerby who is a former Portland who is a former Pirate as well uh, just so you know as well the AHL affiliate is the New Hampshire Monarchs just a shout out to uh, the Manchester Monarchs that used to be Paul Byron former Pirates as well so I'm just Trying to go to teams that I know has former Pirates. And I'm going to take them from there. Uh, here I'm looking for Tyler Ennis. There he is. So now I'm trying to look at. Of who, I'm trying to think out who could be the other play. The people that were in uh, the Pirates. But there's Martinuk that is a, a Pirate alumni. So, yeah, so now I'm trying to think about who else would be next. That's a good question, but anyway, so the plan here is when we're done getting some former uh, Pirate alumni, I'm going to try to get some players that could be flipped for pick for picks for next draft, the next entry draft. Not this year's draft, but the next draft. Because this year's draft is not interesting at all. So we're going to try to get next year's draft uh, pick. So we're going to flip some players there. So here you're seeing me. I'm going to pick Louis Domingue, who is a former pirate as well. So we're still. I'm still on the look for former pirates. Uh, I'm trying to look at teams that could potentially have them. So here in Pittsburgh, I was looking for someone, but I don't think we... I don't think I end up getting him. Uh, yeah, I can. I don't think the um the they did protect the guys that I was looking for in Pittsburgh, so it's not gonna happen. So now we're still gonna try to try to figure out who else could be a former pirate. But I think I gave up here, and now we're just gonna go and pick up some pieces that we could potentially flip. So unfortunately we don't have the trade value here or else it would have been so much easier for me to be thinking about flip. But I think I too we're gonna I'm went with um I think I went I went with for the future here in uh, with the ducks. No actually yeah, actually I went for flipping in Josh Manson, it's on the future. Manson, I'm more than likely gonna flip him from what I remember. Uh, here, I just realized I just saw another former pirate in Lawson Kraus. So I'm pretty sure that's who I picked. Yeah, Lawson Kraus is who I figured out to pick here from the Arizona Coyotes. Here in Boston, I. Don't recall who I went with. I went with Studnika because of the medium top six, and he was young, so he had the potential. So I'm not really looking to flip here. I take Eric Stahl. 
probably gonna try to flip Eric Stahl for picks at the entry draft. That's more than likely gonna be the plan. And here I'm gonna go with uh, Calville, Calvin the Hand to do just that as well. To fl it's a flip, it's flip material. Like that's really what we're doing here. He's trying to flip as to get as many people we could potentially flip here. John, there's John Donskoy that we take from Colorado. Here in Dallas, I'm not interested in Hodobin. I don't think any team would be interested in getting Hodobin as well as on, on his last year of contract. So I, I'm pretty sure I went with Denis Gorianov here. I did. So now we're going to go to the San Jose Sharks. Because I thought I would get a guy like Brent Burns. But they protected him I thought because I did a test run and Brent Burns was not protected so that's why I went to it but it wasn't the case so here I'm just trying to figure out if I screw it up and it doesn't seem like it I just wanted to be sure that the roster if I screwed the roster update but I didn't so I took the by the way this is on the latest uh, roster update that EA came up with so there you go. Here we're gonna put we can take Alexia Fallo in Minnesota. Uh, I believe we picked we picked Broden from what I remember. Did I pick Mikasha? No, I think I picked Broden in the uh, in the options to flip him. All right, and in Nashville, the Preds are gonna lose. Uh, I think it's Colton Seasons I ended up picking. Yeah. I ended up picking Colton Seasons because of his potential and the fact that he's still that he's signed for so long. Here in net, I was looking to see if Mackenzie Blackwood would have by any chance not been protected, but he was. So here I end up picking, I believe it's... I end up picking Pavel Zaka because, again, trying to build the future. Here, I believe that I picked Eberly. And the option to flip him, I did. Now we're going for the Rangers. Now the Rangers camp. Yeah, I was looking if either the young goalie would have been there, but none of them wasn't, was. I should say so. I think I pick Chris Kreider here. I do pick Kreider. I'm probably gonna flip him in his contract as well. Here in Ottawa, I was looking for goalie. Nothing to be really seen. And I end up picking Connor Brown. Brown is probably gonna be. I'm gonna flip him probably at some point as well during the entry. And there's the big get. I'm, I'm really thinking that. Voracek is the guy to go with simply because he's, he's still signed. He's still high overall, so his trade value is not that we're going to be in the shit. So, I really believe that we're fine. And here, Tristan Jari is going to join up as a goal, as the first goalie we pick. Well, the second, actually, because Domingue was a goalie. So, here that was more than Jones. I was not interested in Jones. I think I end. Who do I end up? picking here I don't rem remember if I I pick Schmalevsky for the future as well goalie wise I, I looked and there wasn't anything too interesting so I end up I'm pretty sure I end up picking Zach Sanford That's what I did. Oh, that's right. I had too many forwards, so now I had to go like either defense or uh, goalie. So I'm pretty sure I end up picking Vince Dunn. Yeah, I end up picking Vince Dunn in Tampa Bay. I think I went for the future here, and I took Cal Foot. I could have took Curtis McElhinney as a former Pirate, but I. Didn't feel like I didn't. I went. I did went back, but I didn't feel like it. So, pretty sure I went up and took Cal Foot. Which, if we resign, if we can resign him, that's a good 
future uh, defenseman. Here are goalie, I saw Campbell, and so I've decided to pick, I believe it was Dermont. Again, a medium top four, he's a 23, so not bad, not a bad pick for the four. Our team, when we tell you, when we think about the building, attached to Damco was a no-brainer as a pick for the Canucks, from the Canucks, I should say. And here in uh, in Washington, we picked, I believe, we picked Dimitri Olov to flip. Yes, we did. And in the Jets, in the Jets, I've picked the last defenseman, Available, and I believe I believe because there wasn't that much like trade value, so I believe I went for potential here in uh, in Luke Green. Yeah, so I did pick Luke Green potential wise. So that will be your Portland Pirates for now. As we go into the entry draft, so you see this right here. That's the team that we go. To, that we have to get into the entry draft. So speaking of the entry draft, uh, we took a look. I think we took a look at a couple of players here. Uh, I took a look at Ponikara, Nikita Ponikarovsky. Actually, Kerry Tuominen. I took a look at him. So we wanted to know. I want to know how, how long would it take for him to make it to the National Hockey League. So he thinks it's gonna take him like about a, like he's not gonna be ready just yet. Uh, it says that it's gonna take him three years, and I wanna know like what's his, what's the uh, the strong side and the weak side. So just to make sure that I get a good scouting on him. So there you go so we're seeing that he's gonna it's gonna take three C he says it's gonna be ready in three years so it's a little project kind of thing but it's to be expected it's to be expected in the sense that uh, that this is like kind of and I'm gonna go ahead and interview Korobov here so um, yeah, the thing is here is that it's like the remaining of the actual draft that were not, of people who were not drafted and all of that. So and a couple of uh, EA generated players. So if you're not in the top three, I would say it's hard at that point to have like an NHL ready right away. From what I'm seeing here, it was a three C. It was three years as well. He has a good shot. His strong side is the shot, but his weakness. Uh, would be his physicality, which it's okay. It would, that that can be worked on, but yeah. So Alexander Kurobov. So again, another three years, another guy with three years. And here, did I went to interview another guy? I think I went. Yeah, I, I interview Arkhipov just to be sure. Like, it gives me another option, Nikolai Arkhipov. Like, I wanted to see if we could potentially find a gem that would be ready. But, yeah, it's, it's another few seasons, so it's probably another, like, three years or something like that. Like, the other guys. So, that is what it is. But, hey, it's prospect for... They're prospect for a reason. So, we're just going to try to make them... Uh, to make it work. But, yeah. So... There it is. So three years. It's got good shooting, but his weakness is defense and as a center. It's not the best, that's for sure. And now we're gonna go into the entry draft right now. And I think the first thing we're gonna try to do is to flip players. I'm gonna try to uh, look at the who has the most trade, the, the most trade value, and we're gonna move on with that. So Dimitri Olov has the most value right now. So let's take a look at what we could potentially get here. So we get a second for this year. I don't, I'm not really interested by Halak or Riddick. So I'm just looking to, if I could just get like next year's picks and stuff like that, that'd be great. Without adding anything. Where's Flurry? 
and I'm not really interested in. So they're giving me Johansson in second and the fifth. Andrix Lapierre. So I'm pretty sure I end up picking Andrew, sending Orlov back to the Capitals and picking Andrix Lapierre because I'm really, I'm high on Andrix Lapierre in real life and I never really tried to see how it was simulated in the game. So uh, we're going to try to see how it turns out and the only offer here is that, that I need to take Hodobin back, which I'm not interested in that. So we're going to try to move Josh Manson here. We'll see what we can get. So again, we still need to pick Halak, which I don't want to. So you're seeing a couple of offers here. Uh, again, Hudobin, I'm not interested in picking in. So we have a second and a third from Dallas for next year, which I think that's what I end up picking. Yeah. So the second and the third for Josh Manson going to Dallas. I think I took, did I took a look for Dermot? No. I think it's going to go down to Vince Dunn. Not, not even. I f oh, wow. I kept Vince Dunn because he's kind of young. So I went down and took a look for Broden. So I'm looking to see here. Well, unfortunately, I didn't have anything for next year. So we just went and took the picks for this year. And uh, so next, the next pickup will be Kurbyanov, what we could potentially get for him. Again, I'm really looking for stuff next year. Montreal and Washington picks for next year is what I believe I end up picking. Uh, Barry, Barry Boulet could would have been interesting. Or was it the Winnipeg or was it? I think it's Winnipeg. Yeah, I took the Winnipeg picks, actually. So I sent Denis Gorianov to Winnipeg. And now we're going to look for Jordan Airbully, what we could potentially get for him. Nothing too interesting, really nothing interesting to move him. Uh, Chris Crider is the next victim on our lookout for trades. Nothing too good either. Now we go for... Um, I was looking down to see the value of people. So I, since I know there's only like 20 something, so... Zach O'Sullivan is a medium elite picked by the Minnesota Wild, which is not bad. <coughs> Sorry, so now we're going to try to do manual trades here. As I think I did try to get a first round pick out of Ottawa for next season against... Um, that's not a high value, so I tried to put, I think it's Voracek here. Yeah, Voracek. And then I needed to have, like, I think I tried to have Herbalay. And I tried to have a couple picks here, and I think it didn't turn out well. If I remember correctly. I think I tried to have the second of the Islanders for this season. And... The fifth of Tampa. It didn't work. So we tried to have... Um... I try to had, I think it's Washington second for next season. Still didn't work. And I believe I've had it the fourth, the third of Dallas. And it still didn't go through. So I'm still trying to find to, a way to get that first round pick from Ottawa. See, the value is there, but they're not interested to pick two big salaries like Voracek and Eberle. So I tried to switch the pick and it still didn't work. So here I believe... Yeah, I think I gave up. Then I went to another team. Could potentially struggle. I think I went to Detroit to get the first round pick for next year. And I tried to propose that trade and it still didn't go through. So 
I tried to go for the second round pick with just Eberle. I tried to give Eberle and the Islanders second round pick for this season. He didn't work out. And I tried to give Tampa fifth. It didn't work out. So I switched the fifth to... Um, what is it? Washington second for next year. It worked. So I basically flip. I basically got a better second round pick. I did give a little bit more. But it is what it is. And here, I believe I took the Sens and the Sharks... Took the sense of the Sharks second round pick for next year. And I've put in and then it simulated for some reason. So I went back. So Skinner's who Buffalo picked. So yeah, so I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try to flip Voracek for two second round picks. So I'm gonna try to flip Voracek for Ottawa and the Sharks second round pick. For next draft, let's see if that works out. So I knew that the value was not good enough, so I had to add, which I believe I added. Uh, I added the stars second and the jets second, and it still didn't go through. So I added Tampa's fifth, and it still didn't go through. So what I added was Dallas third for next year, and then that went through. So I did sacrifice two second for next year, but I feel like again um, I went higher. So Podikarovsky was picked by the Red Wings, and I ended up picking. I just wanted to check. I think I ended up picking. I want to say two mining. Yes, I ended up picking two mining. That's not a bad. He's a top, medium top four. Uh, the, he's not going to be able to play right now for sure, but we're going to be able to develop him. So I wanted to take a look here if there's any gem or something. Which there wasn't in this draft, so there's that. So here I, I think I went with I went with Plekanov, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I took a look. It's four years for everybody, basically. Plekanov said it said three years, so I went with Plekanov, which ended up being another mid. It was a medium top six, so. Not the greatest of picks, but... So here next... I believe I went with Oliver Sonny. I did. So Oliver Sonny is going in. Now with the next pick. Like it... This is the bottom of the barrel of the barrel, but really... So we're not late and more. So we're not gonna go. We're gonna. We're probably not gonna get like our masterpiece uh, draft wise with this, but in this draft. But that's fine. And also uh, at the end of the draft, you're gonna. I'm gonna show you who we potentially who we're gonna have to resign. So if you can, if you wanna leave at the comment section below who you feel like we should resign. I'm all about that. I'm all about you giving your opinion on who we could potentially uh, get and what move we can potentially do. So here, since there was a bunch of AHL top six forwards and all of that, I went down and I decided to give a shot at Yuri Kar Karpovtsev. My God, I can't say the goddamn name. So he's a goalie. Uh, it's it's gonna be a fringe starter, but if we can just develop him, we the, there's chances. And here they wanted us to take Benjamin Rude, but I didn't want to because of the potential. So I 
went way down and looked and I've decided to look a little bit down and I decided to go back up and I, I think I decided to go with uh, Nicolas Arcobolo, Arcobello, which at the end of the day wasn't the best. So I, I wanted to see uh, when Rude was going to be picked to see if like Rude was a good pick. Which, at the end of the day, it's no difference. Like, if you look at this and you look at who we picked, there's no difference between the two, so... I'd rather take a chance to someone that could potentially be elite, from what our scout said, to nobody. To someone that we know is not. So, we're gonna take a look at who we have to re-sign here. So, if we go to Contract... If I, we have Eric Stahl that I have to resign. I have Dermot, Dunn. I have Iafalo, Bobby Ryan. Then we have Tyler Ennis, Cal Foot, Martinuk. Then those are our rookies, so we don't need to resign them at all. So that's good. Then goalie wise, we have a. Uh, Demko and Louis Domingue that we have to resign. Uh, Demko, I really sure that is gonna have to resign. So anyway, if you have any uh, people that you would like us to resign and any free agent idea, just shoot it in the description below. Until then, we'll see you next time.